हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज शीला रत्न बंसोडे फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक एट सेक्शंस ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन दैट पर्टिकुलरली वील बी सी सीइंग सिलेंडर लर्निंग आउटकम्स स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द सेक्शनल व्यू ऑफ सिलेंडर एट दिस मोमेंट ऑफ द वीडियो आई सजेस्ट यू टू पॉज द वीडियो एंड रिकॉल द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सिलेंडर what are the parameters of cylinder moving further as we all know cylinder is a solid of revolution it doesn't have fixed edges it has generators a top a flat surface and a bottom flat surface surrounded by generators now let us move with the example a cylinder 40 mm in diameter 60 mm length and having its axis vertical is cut by a section plane we have a cylinder of 40 mm diameter and 60 mm length height of axis is 60 mm base diameter is 40 mm and it is kept with its axis vertical that is it is resting on one of its base and then it is cut by a section plane the section plane is perpendicular to vp and inclined to 45 degrees to hp also intersecting the axis at 30 mm above the base so we have three conditions for the cutting plane or the section plane first condition is it is perpendicular to the vertical plane second condition is it is inclined at 45 degrees to hp and third condition is it passes through a point 30 mm from the base now what is required to do is we have to draw its front view its sectional top view and sectional side view along with the true shape of the section let us summarize the question we have object as a cylinder we have dimensions like 40 mm diameter and axis 60 mm then the cylinder is vertical and assume it is resting in hp on its base as it is said that the axis is vertical then we have the cutting plane details as i mentioned earlier we have three conditions one is perpendicular to vp second is inclined at 45 degrees to hp and then intersecting the axis at 30 mm above the base let us move further a bit more discussion this is the cylinder in isometric view here we have the top and here similar parallel to the top we have a base and these are the sides or generators specific we don't have edges for cylinder but yes we call them as generators this is the top view and front view of the cylinder the front front view appears to be a rectangle and top view is equal to a circular shape equal to the diameter of the given cylinder then this is the cutting fashion that is expected to be the outcome once we solve the problem here you can see this is the cutting plane this one is the cutting plane and this is the cut section of the cylinder this upper portion has been removed when it is cut by the cutting plane of given condition let us move for actual drawing here we start with drawing xy line that is the intersection of vertical plane and horizontal plane the area above xy is called as your or represents the vertical plane and below xy represents the horizontal plane called as ground first we start drawing by drawing the top view of the cylinder as we have assumed the cylinder is kept vertical as we assume the cylinder is kept vertical hence the 
bottom and the top base or face are parallel to horizontal plane hence we get the true shape of the cylinder that is equal to the diameter of 40 mm then we have we need to divide the cylinder circle into equal parts as you can see on screen i have divided the circle or the top view of the cylinder in equal parts then we project each part and complete the top view we name the divisions similarly naming we give it in the top view now we take 30 mm distance for drawing the cutting plane as we know the conditions for cutting plane are that the cutting plane is perpendicular to VP when a plane is perpendicular to VP or vertical plane it is seen as a line view in the front view anything which is related to VP uh, is seen in front view here the plane when it is related to VP it is seen in front view now it is 30 mm above the base we have marked the point 30 mm and it is passing through this point 30 third condition the cutting plane is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to HP so the angles related to HP are seen in front view so this is the angle 45 degrees now we draw the vertical XY line so this is our vertical XY line we have drawn the construction for orthographic view that is 45 degrees line to get the projections from top view and front view in the side view area we project each and every point to get the required view of the cylinder like the point 1 and 5 point 2 and 4 point 3 point 7 point 8 and 6 similar points from here now as we see the points where the cutting plane cuts the generators are being named as a b c d e and f so as we here do not have fixed edges we consider the generators wherever the cutting plane cuts the generators is the point marked now These are the points in side view. These are the points on required for section. Now point A lies on generator 1. Lies on generator 1. So the projection of generator 1 is over here. You can see the point A double dash over here. Similarly point B. Point B lies on 2 and 8. So the projector from 2 has B and the projector from 8 has B. Similarly, we have obtained all the points A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So this represents the sectional view. This is the cut section of your cylinder. We draw hatching lines into it. Now we will go for the true shape now we draw a plane at any distance parallel to the cutting plane and we project all the cutting points now to draw over here we take alternate views distance we are drawing in this view we skip the next view and take distance from this or this with reference to xy vertical xy if considered this view horizontal xy if considered this view we mark the points over here and complete the true shape this is the true shape this is the side view sectional view in side view we will dark the remaining part of the cylinder thank you